All right then, gang, so now we've got a lot of the basics of Beautify under control. What I'd like to do is start to make that application, that to-do application. So I'm going to start by creating a toolbar. Now, I'm not going to do this in the home page because then it would only show on the home page. Instead, what I'm going to do is create a separate component for this and then nest that inside app.view. So first of all, let's go to components, create a new file and call this navbar.view. And then we'll do our script tag. And above that, we'll do a template like so. Now, I want to import this inside app.view. So let's do that right here. We'll say import navbar from, and it's going to be at forward slash. That gets us the root directory of the source folder. Then we go into components, then forward slash navbar. We also need to register it down here. So let's say components. And inside, we want the nav bar like so. Okay, so now we can nest it up here at the top, which I will do. So nav bar and close that off. Okay, cool. So now we have this nav bar. And if we do something in here, let's just do a nav, for example. And inside that, we'll just say hello, save that and view in the browser. Now we should see this at the top of the page. Okay, cool. So this is where we want our toolbar. Now, We've already briefly seen that toolbar in one of the first tutorials of this series, but let's look at some of the different options now. So a toolbar in Beautify is pretty much like a menu bar, right? And you see them at the top of the websites with links and logos in. Now the way we create one is by using the V toolbar component. So V hyphen toolbar like so. Cool, so if we save this, and preview in the browser, then we can see now we get this drop shadow underneath the toolbar at the top of the page. Now, I don't want that. I like it when the toolbar is flat. This is entirely your choice, by the way. Um, I'm just customizing it so it looks how I want it to look. So what I'm gonna do is make this flat, and what that will do is not only make the drop shadow go away, but it will also make it look transparent too. I'm also gonna give this an app prop, which makes it fixed at the top. So if we save this, and view it in a browser, then you're going to look at this and think, well, actually, there's not really anything there at the minute, but we can see this very light gray at the top. OK, now the next thing I'd like to do before we carry on with the toolbar is actually create a background color for our whole application. I don't want it to be white. I'd like it to be a light gray. So let's go over to app.view and up here at the top where it says V app. I'm going to give this a class equal to gray and then lighten hyphen four to make that a light gray. So save that now, view this in a browser and we see a light gray everywhere. Okay, so back to the toolbar. So the first thing we want inside this toolbar is a title and we can use a component called v hyphen toolbar hyphen title to do that. So let's do that v hyphen toolbar hyphen title and inside that We'll do a couple of different span tags. And the reason I'm doing two span tags here is because I want to do two words and style each one slightly different from the other. OK, so the first one is going to have a font hyphen weight of light. So again, this is a beautify class to give this a light font weight. And I'm going to say to do. And then underneath that, I'm going to do another span and this will be Ninja. So it's called to do Ninja. This will sit next to each other. Only this to do is going to have a light font weight. So save that preview in a browser. And that's what it looks like right there. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit so you can see this better. OK, so there we go. Now, I would also like this to be colored gray and made uppercase. So let's use a couple of those classes up here on the toolbar. So we'll say class is equal to and then it's going to be text hyphen uppercase to make it all uppercase then gray double hyphen text save that and preview this and that looks a bit better okay cool so that there is our toolbar title using this component right here and that positions it right over on the left over here okay then so after the title what would i like well i'd like a button which says log out or sign out or something like that with a little icon that looks like some kind of sign out. OK, so let's do V hyphen BTN first of all. Now, this is going to be a flat button because I want to remove the drop shadow and also make it transparent. 
So I'll give this a color of gray as well. And remember, when we use the color prop and flat together, the color controls the foreground text color and the hover color in the background. So that's gonna be gray text and a light gray when we hover. So inside the button, I'll do a span tag first of all, which says sign out. And then underneath that, we'll do a little icon. So V hyphen icon. And this icon is gonna be called exit underscore two underscore app. Now I want to position this on the right and give it some breathing room. So I'm gonna say right inside the icon. So let's save that and preview this. And now we have our sign out button right here. Now this looks okay, but I'd like to position this over here on the right. Now under the hood, toolbars in Viewtify use Flexbox to position these items. So at the minute, they're all being aligned to the left. I want this to be over to the right so we can combat this using a component called V hyphen spacer. And what that does is take up all of the available room and spaces out these two things. So we do that between the title and the button. So underneath the title, we'll say V hyphen spacer, just like that. We don't need to put anything inside it. So now this will be aligned to the left. This will also be aligned to the left, but it's also going to grow into all of the available room inside the nav bar, which is then going to push this over to the right. OK, so let's save that and view it. So now we see that over here. So the spacer is all the way in between these two things. So anything after the spacer here will be positioned on the right and anything before the spacer on the left. All right. OK, then. So that is the basics of our toolbar. We will be adding a little menu over here later and also a little button so we can open up a side menu as well. But that's the basics of it complete. Now, again, if you want to learn more, just go to the docs and search for toolbar. Click on that and you can see all of the different props right here that we can have. And you're going to see different examples of creating toolbars, which look like this or these things down here. OK, so there's absolutely loads we can do with toolbars for now. That's all we need in our toolbar. But again, we will be adding to this as we go forward. To begin with, we'll be looking at a navigation drawer using a little button over here in the very next video.